Loading it up, of course. Grendel Prime Access, gain instant access. And at this point, if you didn't know what Prime Access is, Prime Access allows you to buy the Warframe with the weaponry and basically the accessory pack that is going to be the Sandana, the Ephemera and the boosters. That would be a resource booster and affinity booster for 90 days. Before we slate Digital Extreme for this, let's actually play this, shall we? We are losing this war, you say? You whisper that my warframes are too genteel. Very well. Away with chivalry. Let us have monsters. The lure of club and belly. Hunger and smoke. Beasts of cave and glut. I spread for you a cannibal feast. A toast to the valor of mere appetite. You tremble, but the drool is on your chins. For you birthed him in all his innocent obscenity. This is what you ordered. We'll do this in reverse order. The way it says Grendel Prime all spookily. Okay, nice touch. I spent the, basically this part laughing. But we can basically see the ephemera is going to be... Kind of wish it was on him, if I'm being honest. The Prime Sandana, take it or leave it. The ephemera is what the Prime Accessories is going to basically be bought for. That and if you're on console and lucky enough to be on console, uh, the Platinum that comes with it. If you buy it on PC, you don't get Platinum with the Prime Accessories. They didn't bother to split the Platinum up into that part of it, which yeah, is still a whole touchy subject. But with the Zylocke and the Mass Eater all coming at the same time, ooh, this whole Abyss of Degath update is going to be quite interesting because there's basically two new frames... At least three weapons that we know of. They did mention the fourth, but I'm not sure if they're going to pull the age-old, um... And I hate... I hate the fact that this is coming out of my mouth right now. Signature weapon skin. This... I could have sworn we've seen something similar to this before in what they were doing as a boss change, and I'm pretty sure that was Alad V, but I loved the way that it was kind of spooky. Considering the whole update is basically the big Halloween update. Oh, come on. It go kind of goes hand in hand here. It's like they planned this. Yeah. A few things you don't really think of when you think of Digital Extreme these days. Planned Grendel coming out for Halloween. Oh, wait. Um, was that in-game footage of a battle in this room? Uh... Can we finally have access to this room? Maybe. And it was about this point that I, I kind of started laughing because uh, Grendel just threw up. I was actually going to cut that off, but let's be honest. Probably the best view of Grendel. Ever. Because yes, I went back to when Wisp actually got added to the game and I looked it up. The last prime frame to enter the Prime Vault was Nidus with the Strun and the Magnus Primes. Uh, yeah, that means Harrow Prime will be entering the Prime Vault as he was the next one to come out. Also, uh, I guess it, Wisp did in theory last for three months, her Prime Access, which is kind of an amazement. But yet again, for some weird, unthinkable, unexcusable reason, Digital Extreme have announced what the next Prime Frame is without mentioning one little fact. When one Primeth come, 
One Primeth goeth away. Uh, yeah, Harrow Prime has ended on the 18th of October 2023 when the Abyss of Degath launches Harrow Prime, the Scourge Prime and the Nell Prime, to be fair, I'll probably just do that right here, will be entering the Prime Vault. They will no longer be obtainable from... Their relics will no longer be obtainable. If you have the parts, you can still build them. If you have the parts, you can still trade them. You can still open relics that you have for Harrow Prime parts, the Scourge Prime parts, or Nell Prime parts. The Prime Vault basically means the relics that currently have these Primes on them will be entering the Prime Vault. That is, of course, the relics that are not pre-existingly vaulted. These are the ones that will be entering the Prime Vault. You can go to your codex and literally just search Harrow and these are the ones that will be entering the Prime Vault because the rest of these are already in the Prime Vault. At least he's still buildable. You just can't get new relics. Old relics are still crackable and he is being replaced by a decent frame and the Zylock. Zylock's probably better than the Nell. Maybe. Arguable difference on that one, but the Mass Eater Prime, ooh, versus the Scourge Prime, yeah. Grendel Prime, it just makes up for the weaponry by quite a bit. And that little video, eh, at least Digital Extreme did one thing right today. This year, Wisp Prime was in fact released in update 33.6. On the 27th of July. Um, so there was nine hotfixes afterwards. And there's been nothing for an entire month. Uh, this isn't even a slight case of picking on Digital Extreme for this one. It literally says on the news terminal. They haven't done anything in a month. They haven't released anything into Warframe. Since Wisp Prime? Yeah. Yeah. And people say that other things are Digital Extreme's biggest problem with Warframe. No, lack of anything to do in Warframe is Warframe's biggest problem. Hopefully that gets fixed when... Um...